Hey guys, so today we're doing a core strength training. To activate our core has obvious perks. Um, we can see visible definition, things like that, strength and power and confidence that come from short sport. Core training, um, that's all super important for our energy and our aura. Um, what's also really important for strengthening our core is the massage that we give our chakras. Our many chakras reside in our torso. So by doing these sort of core exercises, we kind of like gently massage and gently activate them so that we can have this, this sense of safety and confidence, this sense of power and, and being able to love and allow love. Um, and that's the energetic benefits, I'd say, of these specific core exercises. Um, yeah, <laughs> you can follow my Instagram for notifications, behind the scenes, stuff like that and subscribe to my YouTube so you know when new videos come out. And let's get to training. All right, so we're going to start in a downward facing dog. Um, let's just start. You can start in a downward facing dog on your feet, or you can uh, come into more of a tabletop position if that's good for you. Just have a, something strong and um, cushy nearby for your knees. It's so, we're going to come into a downward facing dog to a plank position. We're going to do this about 10 times. If you're coming from tabletop, you're going to move your fingertips slightly forward, tabletop to a knee plank. Okay, just like this. Very slight, but you're kind of um, sliding rather than uh, more of a tilt movement. Okay, so we're going to do 10 of these. Let's do this. Remember to breathe. Keep your shoulder blades close to your spine. We're hinging if you're a downward facing dog. Side plank. You can come fully on your knees if you'd like. 
as long as your hip is off the ground. So, we're gonna do 10 hip dips here. Raise your right hand into the sky. Inhale, and exhale, touch your hip to the mat. Immediately come back up. Right elbow onto the ground, flip over. Again, take the same variation that you did on the other side, and we're doing 10 hip dips. And 10. Awesome. <laughs> the next one we're doing is a bit more yoga, a bit more um, intermediate. So if you want to go back to the hip dips, any of the previous exercises we just did, do one of those, or you can just pull the plank. But we're going to do side plank to wild thing. This helps us gain more confidence in more flowing movements. Um, and back bends are amazing for opening our chakras here. Okay, so side plank. This time I'm definitely gonna do it on my hand. That way um, I'll have more control over my movements. So side plank, once you inhale, you open your chest up towards the sky, pivot your hips to face the sky, right hand still high in the, in the air, almost in the sky for like the fourth time, and then look forward, side plank. We're gonna do five of these on either side. Open up, side plank. I'm so glad you joined me today, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. See you later.